Hey guys, this is Brent with Like It's Motorsports. You're looking at a brand new Dart SHP block, small block Ford, 8.2 deck for a 363 uh, bill for Mr. Kyle. Um, all the machine work has been done on this one. Uh, we had it uh, honed with torque plates. The mains have been aligned, honed. The decks have been squared up. Just a really nice, clean, very high quality block. Um, <clears throat> the small block forward world is uh, just seems to have a lot more available to to the builders as far as quality of parts and uh, quantity of parts and, and that sort of thing. So it's easy to uh, to get builds going. As you can see there, uh, I'm pointing at the reliefs that have already been put into the cylinders, uh, the bottoms of the cylinders to clear. Uh, longer stroke. Uh, these should be good for about three and a half inches of stroke from the get-go. Uh, the top side of the block, lifter boards have been finished, cylinders have been finished. See it has the two mounting holes for a OEM lifter tray in the lifter valley. Everything looks really nice on these blocks. There's the main caps, billet, steel, uh, that's different than like the Ford Boss blocks, they're cast iron, nodular iron. The bearings, cam bearings come as a separate kit but made for that block. They are coated on the inside. And they have a groove so that oil will spit out basically three different directions on your cam journal. Here's the rods that we're going to be using. They're SCAT I-Beam 5400 length 7 16 bolt. These are the pistons. Male makes a really, really nice piston for a 363. 6cc flat top, 1 millimeter piston rings. High quality stuff. They are light. There's cam bearings going in. and a nice trial fit of a camshaft. Turns like butter. Throwing some paint on the block, uh, we went with a, uh, a layer of VHT primer and then a layer of VHT satin black. Dart has these really nice plugs for the gallery plugs, O-ringed, on the front and the back. Here I'm knocking in the brass freeze plugs, put a little smear of clear silicone around the outside, get those started, lined up correctly, and I use a freeze plug driver to seat those. Screwing in the oil filter. A nipple and then we're going to screw on a brand new Wix oil filter. In preparation for our crank to be here and to check clearances I'm rolling in some uh, calico coated Male H-Series main bearings. And then after that's done, we'll get the main caps loaded with the bearings and get the bearings seated on the block and torqued down.
Here we've got our rods all washed and, and laid out, ready for assembly. I prefer the I-beams over the H-beams for most applications. Here are the, uh, the Molly pistons, all measured in within a couple tenths of each other. Adequate valve reliefs. They have inboard pin bosses. This makes for a, a much lighter piston and a much lighter wrist pin because the wrist pins are shorter. Coating on the skirts. Wire locks for wrist pin containment. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and hang our pistons on our rods. Um, I usually like to get the right side uh, wrist pin fastener in first. This one uses round wire locks. So once that's done, we'll grab our wrist pin, put some oil on it. On a Ford, the big chamfer on the rod always goes to your right. On a Chevrolet, it always goes to your left. I'm putting oil on the bushing. I'll slide, slide that in there. Then we put our other wire lock in. That's all there is to it. Okay. Again, we're using Male one millimeter, one millimeter, two millimeter ring packs. Uh, if you notice from the previous video, that eliminates the uh, the oil rail support because the rings are so thin. All right, so this is our the, the look of a uh, prepped uh, engine block for our 363. Uh, the crank wasn't balanced as of yesterday, so probably picked that up uh, beginning of this week. We'll be able to check our bearing clearances and all the other clearances that you need to check with a, a small deck stroker engine. Get the short block assembled. Camshaft is a few weeks away. Cylinder heads are on the way. We got some AFR 195cc cylinder heads. So, oh, and RPM air gap intake is uh, at Mr. Joe Crane's house to be ported right now. So, you all need to stay tuned for the rest of this build. Uh, just wanted to give a preview of things to come and uh, let you guys see some work going on in the shop this week. Hope you're having a good week. If you haven't um, taken the time to do do it yet, please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the rest of this 363 build or you won't miss out on uh, our Project Triple J, our 302 5 liter uh, Explorer engine that we're messing with. Probably have another video for you tomorrow and uh, hope to see you soon. Y'all have a good day.